going on guys? Welcome back to another video. All right, so we're starting this video off the night before the actual video slash adventure is gonna take place because I'm gonna be waking up tomorrow at uh, r a ridiculous hour. It's like, I consider ridiculous hours to wake up between like 1 a.m. and like 4 a.m. Like 5 a.m., nah, not so bad. Like in 12 a.m., it's like you're not even asleep really. So like, I feel like that one to four is like ridiculous. Well, tomorrow I'm waking up at 2.30. So I wanted to start this video the night before that we actually had the energy that you guys have grown accustomed to because I can promise you tomorrow morning, I'm not gonna wake up with that energy right away. We're going on an adventure to pick up some things that are literally gonna make the Minimax a one of a kind truck. And it's going to basically be parts that kick off um, this new phase of the build that this truck's gonna be going through, which I'm like beyond stoked to go over with you guys, but we're gonna have to wait till a little bit later in the vlog to get into that. Um, the thing that we have to do right now is we have to go get the vehicle that I'm gonna be taking up to New Hampshire and back in one day. And well, it's not here right now. Currently I have the Minimax, that's not coming. We have the giveaway LBZ Dually, which is definitely not coming. That one's hanging out right here in the comfort of my driveway. And while you guys can see that we're we're missing one of our two diesels. 5.9 is still over at LRA. I haven't picked that up yet just because I haven't had a chance to get to it and of course the 2015 is not here and that's a truck that we need to go to get now the question is uh what truck do we bring or what vehicle do we bring what diesel do we bring is the better question i think we all know which one we have to bring that one right there. Now, with that being said, if you guys want to get entered to win my 2007 LBZ Dually Duramax, this truck that you see right here behind me, your opportunity window is quickly closing, guys. There is less than three weeks to get entered for this truck. It's just like PTO at the day job. It goes quick. Don't miss your chance and take it while it's hot. Every $20 equals one automatic entry for a chance for you to take home this Dually. Let's get in route. Man, oh man, what a beast. It's good to be back. Hey, man, big girl. Got a big road trip coming up. Done. So check this out, guys. Y'all saw 250,000 miles on this beast. Ugh. And I'm having my first problem with it. And I've had this freaking car for, I don't know, like a year's time. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can tell. You see how like half of the uh, belt pulley is uh, showing? Yeah, well, that's because half of uh, that belt is gone. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get that fixed up. But uh, if you guys didn't know, this is my 06 TDI. It's got 250,000, well, almost 250,000 miles on it. And uh, it's like literally the best car that I own. Cause I can kind of just throw the dogs in it and not really care. Change the oil and hope it just works. Oh my God. I always do that. All right, guys, so I'm going to take the 2015 home and I'm gonna get to sleep because, oh God, we're gonna be waking up at just a ridiculous time. So hopefully I can wake up quickly to get back in front of the camera. I'll see you guys tomorrow or in a few seconds. Oh yeah, it's early. Let's do this. Holy shit, got cold. Oh yeah, it's freezing outside. <laughs> All right guys, so small update. Uh, Coffee and Copilot, if you guys don't remember, Mike was in my last video in the fast lane on YouTube if you guys wanna check him out. He just started up his channel and uh, he does a lot of crazy things on his compound up here. Uh, he was able to, you know, work around his flexible work schedule, if you will, to take a trip up to New Hampshire and back with me and, well, all of us today. So uh, let's go ahead and plug our destination into our GPS here and see what the uh, estimated time of arrival is. I had Google Maps on, so my watch would update because like Waze doesn't have an app that you can put on your Apple Watch, which is just stupid. Like, why okay. wouldn't they have that? I had Waze going so I could see where the cops were. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 373 miles. Six hours and nine minutes. Not terrible. No. Not. not terrible at all. I think we're gonna want to go probably the second option. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're we're definitely not gonna go through New York. But right. Arrival. Unfortunately. So that's that, that's our time to be. Let's get it round. into whoa wow i need to get better at that zoom so we are five hours into our trip 
about three hours away from the destination. It is now currently, what time is it? 7 a.m. and series listening. So the trip's been going really well so far. LML's been doing great. It's still on the first tank of fuel, but we are gonna have to fill up probably right there. Uh, we're somewhere in New York right now, and we were trying to find a place to eat, so we found uh, Lou's Diner Restaurant Eat-In or Take-Out. Apparently it's like a hole in a hole in a wall. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we don't- line, by the way. That was your line. That was good. I liked it. I had to use it again. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go get some food here, and then we're gonna keep on cruising. But we should uh, be able to make this eight-hour leg up um, by like 10:45 this morning, which really isn't all that bad. And then we have the pleasure of going right back down. So uh, let's eat it loose. What do you think? About that place, that was awesome. That was pretty good. Yeah. We are uh, we are still the only ones here, but it was, <laughs> it was definitely awesome. Lou, Lou, you are my boy. Thanks for the breakfast. So guys, we have like three more hours. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get up to Derry, New Hampshire, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the parts that we're gonna be picking up for the Minimax today. Been really excited about this. Um, been looking for the right opportunity, and finally this one popped up. So we'll talk a little bit more about it when we get up there. See you guys there. Oh. Uh, all right, we made it finally to uh, New Hampshire. We're up here in like, I don't know, South Central-ish New Hampshire. Uh, this is the individual's house that, well, we, uh, we, we came to meet up with. This is Adam. Uh, Adam and I actually had been communicating on Instagram for a period of time uh, before this Facebook listing actually came up. And I gotta give credit to a subscriber. I gotta reference his name here on my phone real quick, just because if it wasn't for him, I probably would have never actually followed through with this. So big shout out to Fred Bulchaltz of uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Fred, if I'm saying your name wrong, I am really sorry, but Fred had actually sent me Adam's Facebook marketing classified post saying that he had a full interior swap available for, well, what's gonna be my Mini Max, and that's that's Adam's Mini Max right here behind me. So let me show you guys this thing. Sorry about any wind noise that's coming through. I know I'm still experimenting with this new mic setup, but here you can see inside Adam's uh, LBZ single cab. This thing is really mint. It's his toe pig, as a matter of fact. He went ahead and swapped in pretty much all of the premium options uh, that were available in the crew cab truck. So uh, he's got the full heated seat. It's all flashed through the BCM. There's Adam right there. He's got the full adjustable power leather seat swap and the large center console, which is all what I'm picking up today. So some of you guys might be like, Jack, you're crazy. What are you driving eight hours for to pick some parts up for? But basically, um, he had all of this stuff available. So we're we're gonna go get that here in a minute, but basically we're gonna have the full door panels with the buttons, full leather seats, and the full center console, and the wiring harnesses that connect everything in. So there is Adam's 700 horsepower second gen that's idling right now. It's got some brand new forces on it, super clean truck. And well, of course, it's like white truck party up here. We've got the 2015 LML that we cruised up in. I mean, it's just like smooth sailing the entire time. Now, the one thing that I wanted to show you guys is uh, Adam's really nice, painted white gooseneck PJ trailer. Check this thing out. This thing is absolutely mint. And uh, you guys know me, I had actually inquired about whether or not this trailer would be for sale. And well, everything has a price, let's just say, but, but guys, we are not, we are not picking it up today. We're not picking it up in this video, but uh, just to try for size, we're gonna take the 15 LML and we're gonna, we're gonna back it up to this trailer just to, just to kind of feel it out. It's kind of like a try for size, if you will. I mean, who knows what the future holds. It is a really nice trailer. It is lowered. It's got some uh, upgraded deck options, slide out ramps. It's really nice. I mean, granted, it's not a deck over, but you could drive over the wheel wells as they are reinforced if that was absolutely necessary. The cool thing about that is, you know, you might be able to get some cars on it. Um, who knows what the future holds, right? But um, super nice trailer and man, I think it would look really, really good behind the truck. So how about we, um, how about we, how about we give it a shot? Dude, that looks so good. So I don't know, guys. What do you What do you think? What do you think, Mike? It looks badass for sure. I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, probably not. Probably, that was probably a really bad idea. Wow. 
So I am in the market for a gooseneck right now, and no guys, I did not come up to buy this trailer today, although Adam basically said that, you know, everything has a price. It's a practically brand new trailer. He bought it about two years ago. And you guys can follow him on Instagram. I'm gonna put that information down below if you'd like to check out his Instagram. He posts up, puts up a lot of pictures about his single cabs and some of the other trucks that he has. But uh, yeah, this was one thing that I was kind of excited about checking out today as there are a lot of options in the market. Sam at LRA has been really generous with allowing me to use his trailer at any kind of becking call, but the season is is kind of you know right around the corner for us and I know that they're gonna be using their trailer a lot so that's kind of prompted me to do some of my research to see what options are available and you know traditional tow behind trailers are you know obviously an easy go to the gooseneck might be a little bit of a stretch but this one here is about uh, 28 foot uh, in total length and it does sit lower uh, than that of your kind of traditional deck over now the nice thing about this is you have the ability to mate a winch up top that's like a 12,000 pound winch Adam was telling me and you can see here that everything is kind of nice and contoured so if you needed to drive over the fender flares you could um, not that I'd really kind of want to make that common practice but obviously with some of the wider wheels that I put on my trucks it would kind of need to be an option if that was the case now you can see he's got the nice tie down loops and of course on the back end here uh, you just have your kind of fold out ramp locations as well, which is which is really cool. And it's pretty slick how everything kind of cleans up and just tucks away real nice. It's very clean. LED tail lights, and then of course you've got the the wood boards with a nice slant that kind of runs down. But what do you guys think? Drop a comment below if this is kind of what you envision for me uh, in terms of what we would be doing with with our trailering setup. Don't need to have anything that would fit two trucks. Really, just one truck at any given point in time. And I mean, predominantly it would be used for the Mini Max, but obviously I wouldn't want to buy a trailer like this without having the the leisure and the flexibility of throwing any one of my rigs on it at any given point in time. You know, like the dually, for instance, would kind of be a little bit of a change of pace because you'd almost have to back the truck up onto this trailer. And Adam, how how wide is this side to side? 82 between the fenders. Yeah. This is 102 wide. Yeah. So I think it would maybe stick off just a little bit, but you don't almost have to back the truck up on in order to make it work. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. It would it would definitely work. That looks so good. My God, this is not good, Adam. And well, guys, unfortunately, uh, this fun has to end at some point. So it is chilly up here in the north. Well, not today, Mike, uh -huh. but maybe one day. This is sad. Boy, it's just like, no, no. Maybe one day, maybe one day soon. I don't know. Need to do a little bit more research before I commit to anything because, well, a lowered trailer might not be the best option. So now to get to the parts that we actually came up for today, which isn't the trailer. Here they are, guys. We've got ourselves two pilot seats for the Mini Max, and then we've got the associated wiring harness, which is basically gonna allow us to plug and play pretty much holistically. We've got our door panels with all of the heated seat controls, and then we'll just put our instrument cluster, you know, from the original truck in there. We've got all of our mounting hardware, the center console storage compartment, and last but not least, the actual center console, which is uh, pretty sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff loaded up real quick into the truck, secured down, and uh, I will talk to you guys right after. Back at the fuel pump. All right, guys, so uh, we couldn't hang around at Adams for too, too long. I apologize about that. I know we're bouncing all around a little bit here, but when you're doing a transaction, it's a little bit chaotic. And well, as you guys can see, we've got the two seats in the back. We've got the door panels right here. We've got the center console in the back as well. And luckily the weather has cooperated thus far today. It's not like we're really trying to beat out any uh, inclement weather, it's not like it's gonna rain or anything like that, which is a very good thing. But I do wanna just say, Adam, thank you so much. Uh, Adam actually held onto these seats for me for about a week's time until I found the availability to get up to New Hampshire. Um, so it was about an eight hour drive up from uh, PA where I'm at. And of course we are kind of hot shotting this trip. Uh, so we have an eight hour trip back down. So left this morning at 2.30 a.m. or as you guys saw, 3 a.m. Got up here around noon. It was roughly around 11.30 and hung out for about a half hour. And well, now we are on our way back home. So we're just fueling up the 2015, uh, hopefully to hot shot our way back down, we'll probably stop and grab some food along the way. So I hate to completely skip over this whole period of travel that I have here in real life that I'm not going to be featuring in the vlog. But what I'll do is I will catch up back with you guys once we get back home and settle to really evaluate what it is that we're going to be doing on the Mini Max. So I'll see you guys back home. Woo, what a long day it was. 17 and a half hours of travel and almost a thousand miles knocked out in one day. It was a lot. That was probably the most amount of travel that I've ever done at one given point in time consistently. We got up to New Hampshire, we picked up the seats and all the interior pieces that you guys see right there. Basically said, thank you very much. And then 
hit the road back. I'd say that we probably tripled the daily recommended amount of coffee consumption. And well, yeah, it was definitely necessary. So guys, I just wanted to take a minute to apologize, but kind of laugh about the title of this video. I know that a lot of you guys are probably very excited about seeing that trailer come onto the channel, but unfortunately not just yet. So I know that it was kind of an April Fool's joke a little bit, but there is some truth to it as I am in the market for a gooseneck trailer as we speak. That PJ White trailer that Adam had is absolutely gorgeous. And would I like that trailer to be the exact one? Absolutely. And he's actually considering selling it, but his time frame might not really align with what my needs are as well. The season of towing, as we'll call it, is pretty much here or it's, it's really just kind of around the corner. It's not that far away. So I am looking for the right trailer, the right size, the right configuration, the right options. If you guys ever went to like, let's just say pjtrailers.com and you looked at all the specs that you can put into building a trailer, there are a ton of options. So I am looking around. And then another thing right now that I'm a little bit constrained on is space. Luckily we have the shop. You can see the TDI still needs to get the belt love that we were talking about earlier in this video. I'm gonna do that right after this. I'm sorry to play the prank on you guys, but I figured that April Fool's was kind of the right time to do it. Now you could get technical and say, well, Jack, you didn't do it on April Fool's. You did it a Thursday after April Fool's. And yeah, I know guys, I apologize about that. But you know, I figured like a week delay, eh, it's not that bad. It's like we can kind of make do. So now that that said, I'm going to spend some time with my other diesel that never really gets spotlight on the YouTube channel to fix this belt. This thing's like my daily driver. I take it out on crappy days so I don't have to get the trucks dirty and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on this right now. In the next upload, what we're gonna do is focus on basically ripping the Minimax apart to see how quickly this whole process can go. I think everything is gonna be relatively straightforward except for that right there. Only time will tell. So with that said, grab some entries for the 2007 LBZ Duramax that only has less than three weeks to get entered. Check out enthusiast.com. First link in the description below. A hat, just like this one right here. This is the, the ghosted trucker could be what wins you that one of a kind dually. Don't waste any more time, guys. Clock is ticking and it is ticking fast. My likely to love you guys, do what you do best. Tap that subscribe button on your way out and I promise you, I'll see you in the next upload.